Hey Remodelaholics, I'm so excited about today's project. I've been wanting one of these since I was 10, and I'm not kidding. Since I first saw it, I have wanted one. So originally, Benjamin Franklin designed this ladder chair, and it is so cool because it looks like a regular chair, but if you turn it, it becomes a ladder. It is brilliant. Our amazing contributor, Scott, of Saws on Skates, is showing us a modern version today and how to build it. We have new DIY tutorials every week, so be sure to subscribe and come back and check out our channel every week. So let's get moving. I'm so excited about today's project. To start building, you'll cut the front legs and the front leg rails, then the front slanted legs. For the slanted legs, you'll need to carefully measure and mark the special angle to be cut using a bandsaw or jigsaw. Next, attach the front leg rail to the slanted leg using a pocket hole and wood glue, and repeat for both slanted legs. You can see how Scott used another piece of wood to make it easy to clamp and attach the rail. Drill pocket hole screws in each front leg assembly and attach each of those to the front leg pieces. Cut and drill pocket holes in the front step rails. Attach to the legs using scrap wood to position the rails in the correct place on the leg assemblies. Cut and attach the front seat rail and the front step rail using glue and pocket hole screws. Attach the front rails to the leg assemblies using a scrap of thin hardboard to insert the rails from the front of the leg and a scrap piece of wood to position the rails properly. Mark and cut the front step cleats and the front seat cleats. Drill countersink holes in the bottom of the cleats and then drill additional countersink holes in the side of each cleat. Line the cleats up neatly and attach using countersink holes as shown. Next, cut and attach the front step support. Use a right angle attachment for your drill. Cut and attach the front seat. Then assemble the front step. Mark and trim it on a table saw to fit your chair perfectly. Attach it to the chair and it starts looking like a step ladder now. So exciting! Cut the back leg, then cut the bottom back rails and drill pocket holes. Attach these two together and drill additional pocket holes. Cut and drill holes in the top rails, then attach to the leg. Cut the back style and attach it using pocket holes. Cut the middle rails and attach using pocket hole screws. Use scrap wood to position the rails correctly. Again, all of the dimensions and angles for cuts and pocket holes are detailed in the printable building plans on our site. The link is in the description box below. Cut the cleats and measure and mark to drill countersink holes in each cleat, which will later be used to attach the seat and steps. Drill additional countersink holes, then attach the top, middle and bottom cleats to the legs. Assemble the middle step and cut it to size with the table saw. Attach it to the cleats on each leg using the countersink holes. Assemble and attach the bottom step. 
Now make the seat. Mark and cut to size and attach it. You're almost finished. Cut and install the back rails using scrap wood for positioning. Stack the two pieces and attach the piano hinge. This is the key to the chair turn stool magic. Use the tape to hold it in place as you insert the screws. Phew! Finish it up by filling the back rail pocket holes. Scott uses pocket hole plugs which are glued into the holes and then trimmed flush so they're completely hidden in the finished chair. Sand and finish the chair Ta-da! This amazing chair is now done. It's great for using wherever you need a little extra storage and a little boost to get to those upper cabinets in your laundry room, your kitchen, maybe your closet in your master bedroom, wherever. Tell me in the comments below, where would you like a chair slash ladder like this one and what would you use it for? Would you use it for top shelves? Would you use it for cabinets? Do you have a library? I've always wanted a library, but I don't have one. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this ladder chair, please be sure to check out this angle leg bench tutorial and this great playlist of other furniture build tutorials. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.